What is the Momo Challenge? And is it as dangerous as advertised? Let's talk about it. What's going down, Mouse Nation? And today, we're going to be discussing a sort of viral phenomenon. Momo, and the Momo Challenge attached to her. But before we get started, make sure you smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. Now before we get into the challenge itself, I want to talk about who or what Momo is. The legend of Momo spread furiously through the internet. More specifically, social media. Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Momo is this sort of part human, part bird hybrid with bulging eyes, long stringy hair, and a very strange smile. Sure, on paper, she doesn't seem terrifying, but just take a look at her. And it's very easy to see why this creature became such an internet phenomenon, a sensation even. Now the truth behind what she really is, is a little bit less terrifying, or maybe even a little bit more terrifying, depending on how you look at it. She was actually a sculpture created by a Japanese artist by the name of Kisuka Aisawa from the special effects company Link Factory and placed on display at the Vanilla Gallery in Tokyo, Japan. But how did she first get on the internet? Well, the first known picture of Momo was posted on August 25th, 2016 to Instagram user Nanaku's page. Then the next day, a few more pictures of the sculpture popped up. Then on July 10th, 2018, Redditor Almighty Sosa 00 uploaded a crop picture of Momo to the subreddit Creepy. There, it blew up, receiving more than 4,700 upvotes within 48 hours. Then on the very next day, YouTuber Rainbot uploaded a video entitled exploring the Momo situation, where she uploaded and discussed the viral photos as well as the attached WhatsApp urban legend that was attached to it. That video garnered over 96,000 views within the first 24 hours. It was then submitted to various other websites and the mystery as well as the legend grew. So what exactly is the Momo challenge? Well, as internet challenges began to spread all over social media, a challenge was then attached to this very creepy viral photo. And while Momo isn't the first viral challenge that tries to get children and young people to put themselves in dire situations, it's definitely one of the most popular. It was then attached to a new report from the Buenos Aires Times on July 25th, 2018. That report stated that local police were investigating whether or not the WhatsApp phone number and the Momo challenge were attached to the suicide of a 12-year-old girl. She was found hanging from a tree in front of her family home in Buenos Aires. And apparently, the police had found some chats on WhatsApp on her phone that showed that she was intending on uploading the photos in order to prove that the Momo challenge was real. In the end, police believed that it was another teen that was behind the text and that caused her suicide, though this was never confirmed. Then, more young people were reported to have been affected by the game, causing more deaths around the world. Two young men in India in August of 2018, and a boy and a girl in Barbosa, Colombia. And at this point, the Momo Challenge began to gain mainstream media coverage. And now, in 2019, the challenge seems to be making a comeback, as many urban legends do. Momo began to show up in the middle of YouTube Kids videos, including ones with Peppa Pig, videos your children may be watching. Please, always monitor what your children are doing on the internet. Then, on February 25th, 2019, yes, I said 2019, a Scottish news site, The Herald, reported that a mother by the name of Lynn Dixon from Edinburgh, Scotland, stated the following. He showed me an image of the face on my phone and said that she told him to go into the kitchen drawer and take out a knife and put it into his neck. 
We've told him it's a load of rubbish and there are bad people out there who do bad things, but it's frightening. Really frightening. And I definitely have to agree with her. There are bad people out there who want to do bad things to good people. They can easily go onto WhatsApp or other social media sites and target children. You always need to be aware of what they're doing. The truth is that there really isn't a lot of evidence that can really prove that this challenge is as big a phenomenon as it's making out to be. It's been pumped up so much that it's going to cause copycats out there. People don't truly understand how monsters are made. We create them by hyping them up. We make the monsters. We spread the word for these tools to be used by bad people. And that's exactly what these challenges are. They are tools that can be used by bad people on the internet looking to hurt someone. And my advice is to always make sure that you know what's going on in your children's lives. And only you know if they are well enough mentally to handle being on the internet alone. And just because you trust your child, that doesn't mean that you can trust all the people out there on the internet. What do you think, hoax or reality? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, I'm your host, Morty Mouse. I'll see you later, or I'll see you at another time.